morning everyone welcome to Kelly's creative dream studios and it is a wet and overcast morning in the Ozarks supposed to warm up today but I'm not gonna hold my breath a whole lot even if it does warm up it's still gonna be very damp in the house so uh, lots of things going on today today is our first reindeer club of 2021 God, I almost said 2014 <laughs> Oh, it's going to be one of those days. Ever have those where things just don't seem to mesh in your brain? Um, as I said, today is the first Reindeer Club of 2021. And what that means is on the 24th of every month, I will be showcasing a Christmas project or a holiday project. There's a couple of Halloween ones in my, in my idea list. And sadly... Not a lot has changed from my Reindeer Club from 2020. So I'm going to link that video down below where you get a different shot of some of the other projects that are on my list. But today, my first, I have one in particular I'm starting with, and you'll see the fabrics here in front of me. I have a lap quilt that I put together. It is 56 by 64, I believe is what I figured out a while ago. And it is made from this fabric that I got from my sister, Donna at Crazy Lady Creations. And this is going to be one side. <coughs> then I have a flat sheet from a waterbed, or no, actually it's not a waterbed sheet set, sorry. Um, just from a sheet set that was from our bed. And so I backed that with this, lined it with warm and natural, and I am stitching it. And I mean, I've got it put together, and I have the quilt clamps all around the perimeter. I just need to sit and stitch it. My challenge is trying to find a place and a time when I can sit and stitch it that I don't have a cat trying to help. <laughs> because if I'm in my chair, there's usually a cat in my lap. Um... If I want to wait till spring or summer when I can sit out on the deck in the chair away from the animals and work on this, then it's too hot because this is this is a wool uh, fabric. So that's why it never got worked on. But I'm determined. That's one bag. I am not moving around again this year. I'm going to get this done and out of my office. And then this bag can go out to the warehouse with the rest of the Christmas decor. And I am going to stitch it around, just a basic blanket stitch around the edge with this black yarn and then while I was walking through Hobby Lobby last Christmas I saw pillow actually it was a buffalo check and it was rimmed in this fake fur and they wanted like $30 for this 12 inch pillow lined in this fake fur so I went over and got this faux fur out of the craft department for $2.99 because I knew that I had enough of this fabric to make me a couple of throw pillows to add to this. So this will probably be kept inside to go in and out if I want to go out and sit out on the deck when it's chilly. Or to add it to my office, which I do buffalo check and western themed in here at Christmas time and then I'd have a couple of throw pillows for the sofa so that's also an option so that is project number one and that is the first project that I'm going to do for reindeer club the other one is a new one to my list I saw on Pinterest where someone had taken and done a globe Christmas ornament I've got an ornament ball here And I've got the girls' beads in here to do a thing for the girls. But it was they took one of these and they put some bear stuff in the bottom, or basket filler in the bottom. And then they had bullets. So Bob, when he was doing his shell loading the other day, I had him do me a variety of sizes. Now these do not have powder in them. They're just the empty casings uh, with the bullet points on them. And so I'm going to do one of those ornaments for Bob because that's one of the reasons we moved to the Ozarks was so he could hunt and do fun stuff like that. So I'm going to link that video down below <coughs> and show you what we're going to be doing. 
Christmas cards are not necessarily on my reindeer list this year because of the 10 on 10 project every month where we do 10 Christmas cards and showcase them on the 10th of the month. So that will be a separate project this year. And I'm also going to be linking up to the hashtag CCAY, which is Christmas crafting all year. And so you'll see pictures of my progress throughout the months on my Instagram account, which is linked down below as well. And if I, when I get something done, I shouldn't say if, when I get something done, I will bring it in here and show you that too. So that is Reindeer Club. The process, the, <laughs> the concept behind Reindeer Club, which I didn't follow through very well with last year, was to try to be prepared for Christmas. Now, as we get closer to the fall, when I want to make sure that I have my Halloween display set up on the top of my antique wardrobe in time for Halloween. And then as soon as Halloween is over with, I'm going to start setting up everything Christmas, starting with the outside stuff as the weather is nice. <clears throat> Our family tradition when I was growing up was that the Christmas lights went on on Thanksgiving. Right after Thanksgiving dinner, that was what we did. We turned on the tree lights and we started our Christmas season. And I've not been able to do that for the past several years because I just haven't been prepared. So that's my other thing this year. I'm going to get back into tradition. My word for the year is control. And I am going to take control of some of these projects that have not been getting done and get them taken care of. So that's why I have Finish It Friday posts on here. And then we're going to do the Reindeer Club. Now, last year, Reindeer Club was on the 25th. But because I am in the um, Smash Your Stash Paper Pad collab with Deb Hack's Creative Cottage, we do that on the 25th. So I back the Reindeer Club up, you know, because Rudolph flies on the 24th. He flies on Christmas Eve anyway. So Reindeer Club on the 24th now for this year. So check the video out down below from last year to get a better scope of the projects I'll be working on. And I will see you tomorrow with Valentine cards and a little journal from Smash Your Stash. Thanks for joining me in the studio today. Remember to click the subscribe because another Saturday shout out is just around the corner. And... If you want to see more of how this Christmas stuff comes together, click the like button. And remember to share with your friends. I'm still working on subscribe building. I will see you tomorrow. Creative blessings.